Hello guys, in this video you will see how to import multiple CSV files in Power BI. To import data we will be using Python script. So let's get started. First we can see this variable called location that contains location of my CSV files. As you can see it's folder that contains some CSV files and now let's see that folder. So this is folder that contains all those files. You can, for example, copy location and then paste it in Python. This folder contains those three CSV files. So our plan for today is to import all these files in one data frame, basically in one table, and then directly import that in Power BI. So let's see how can we do that. Let's go back to Python. And now first we need to import those two libraries, pandas and this second library. After that we can start with our script. So first step is to get names of those CSV files. So now I'm gonna show you how can you do that. First I'm gonna copy this here just to show you how it works. Let's copy this location and I'm gonna print this. Basically what this first part is doing, it will go to this location and check all these files that this folder contains. So I'm gonna use this list directory function and I'm gonna provide my location with this one here and I'm gonna go to each of these files for this loop here and return that to this files variable. So let's see how it looks like. Now we are able to see that we have three CSV files here. If you remember those are three files that we had here. So basically I provided this folder and this loop was looking for each CSV file and it provided name of that file. Now when we have those names we can proceed to next part of our script. So next step would be to create this data frame object. Basically I'm using data frame function and creating just empty data frame object that I will store in this df variable. After I create that object I will use another for loop. In this case I will go through each of these files and I'm gonna go through each of these files and then what can I do with those files? I will use read CSV method to import each of them. So in first iteration I'm gonna import first file. In second iteration I'm gonna import second file and so on. So basically when I import that file I'm gonna use this location here and I'm gonna use this plus sign to add this file for each iteration. So when I import that CSV file it will be stored in this data variable. And after that, the only thing that I need to do, I need to add another CSV file that I import into my data frame that, that will be storing all our CSV files. So in this case it will be df and I'm gonna use this concat method to concatenate those CSV files. And uh, of course I need to provide this data frame object. This is empty data frame object and this data CSV files. First loop will be import first CSV file. In second iteration we will be import second file and the third iteration we will be importing third file. So when I execute this code and let's print this df variable. Actually I'm just gonna type df and run code. And now we are able to see in this order date column that we have data for 2015. We don't see 2016 because it's probably in the middle of this file and in the end we can see 2017. So we can guess that we have all our data in this data frame object. The only thing that is left to be done is to copy this script in Power BI and import those files. So let's go to Power BI, let's click in home tab, let's click on this get data button and on option more. Now we need to go to this other tab and click on Python script. Connect. In this Python script window we are now able to type our script. So first I'm gonna paste my location here and then I'm gonna paste my uh, whole script there. And now let's see if we run this script can we import all those CSV files in just one data frame basically in one object not in three separate objects that's our goal for, for today. We can see that we have now two data, two tables, let's say two tables, yes. This first one is data and second one is data frame. Let's see what that is in our script. As you can see, uh, this is data variable. It stored our files, each of our files 
in each of these interactions. So we will not be using this one and of course we will be using this DF data frame because it stores all our data. Let's click on this one and now we are able to see our data. We can of course transform data if needed but in this case I'm gonna just load this data. And now we are able to see that we have our columns here. So let's check if everything is imported correct. Let's see order date. And let's for values let's put this quantity. So we can see that we have data for each of these years and we can see that our script is working properly. This was everything for this video. Thanks for watching.